Alrighty, so I'm gonna have my go at cleaning the shifter linkage. So this is a short throw shifter, and then I actually just have a factory one just sitting here, so you can kind of see the, the difference in length between the two of them. I'm wanting to choose a shorter one just because um, I have driven factory A-dubs, manual A-dubs, and I really just don't like the throw on them. I very much prefer a shorter throw. John's off just getting, uh, I think it's bearing grease or wheel grease or some kind of grease so that we can re-grease all these, but I'm just gonna pull it all apart. As you can see, it's just covered in hair and sadness. And then yeah, it should be mega satisfying putting it back together again. Today marks the last video tackling all of the small tasks before finally getting to reinstalling that freshly built 4A GZE. There are a couple of small jobs left to complete, so check out the content section in the description below. Both shifters will be rebuilt, however, as you may have noticed, I'm staggering the jobs as the secondary unit is firstly being used as a reference point for when I get confused or stuck. The factory throw unit will be given back to Lawrence from AW11 Garage once we're built, as I wanted to do both anyway, and what better way to thank him for all his help than to give him a shiny new piece. Oh, it smells terrible! Oh! Alright, so we're going to put some. Ooh. So we've got a greasy piece, and then we've got this thing, which this slides on top of I couldn't get the circuit loose, so I just brushed it down with degreaser, and I'm just going to try really carefully to re-grease it. Come back on. There we go. So these two grooves actually, they sit in these two grooves in here, and so they just slot in place, and then there's two bolt holes that line up. So I'm just going to put this circlet put circlet back on yeah. things are greased and happy I'm gonna dry my hands for the umpteenth time This is the shifter linkage to go into the car. This is the auto one. Now, I'm assuming the manual ones are different and there might be two like grooves put into this rubber. And then on this end, I assume there must be two, like a new bracket or something. We're just gonna remove this line and put the one and two. Yeah. And then we got a little dildo piece, which I really think is quite disgusting. Ooh. I can't use dildo piece. Because this car is a short shifter now. This piece is too long and the shifter is very short. This, which is why this boot looks funny, because it's probably used to sitting it uh, higher okay, up. Okay, so the, the, the neck is too long. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're back at working on the ADUG. Unfortunately, we had issues with starter motors. They, um, they didn't fit. So if you look at the pattern on these, it's not even. So this, this piece needed to kind of be more centralized. So the bolts didn't really line up. So had a chat with um, Lawrence at AW11 Garage. He's just been dealing with all my shit and he's always delivering and I'm so grateful for him. So what he came up with was he didn't have any working units. So in here is a starter motor that will fit my setup. However, the electrical components of so this little thing here, I've actually removed this in advance. Um, it'll need to be replaced. So this is actually for this unit, which I removed to measure up, but it's going to be the incorrect unit. The one we're going to be taking the unit from is this big thing here. So same deal. Doesn't, isn't even. Um, but we measured out the distances between the bolts here and here, and they appear to be hopefully identical. He, he did a better measurement than I did. I only had a, a ruler. So we'll get to opening this box and seeing what's inside. There we go. So this is the unit. So you can see there, it's cracked along there. He's not sure if it'll work, but he's just said, you know, replace it, best to be safe. Um, it's not the tidiest unit, but it'll work, it'll do the job. More importantly, it's equal. So I can actually show you now, these are heavy. 
So you can see the difference of how they sit. So yeah, this is the one I need. 10 mil. This piece is just a 12, so throw that in there and then I'll give you guys a terrible view again. I'm really sorry, I'm not very strong. Alrighty, so we got it out. Um, so this is the little unit here and it's got, if you can see, it's got a little latch. So what I had been doing is you have to like hook it in. As I had just been pulling straight out and I couldn't get anything out and you just had to like <laughs> tilt it and it came off. So this is the good unit. Alrighty, now moment of truth to actually see if this fits. Oh, yes, we hurt. Brilliant. Well, I'm not doing it again because I thought I was recording and I clearly wasn't. But I've given the unit a clean, I've bolted on this new replacement thing here, you're just going to have to believe me. And yeah, we're ready to put this back in the A-dub. Yeah! And like that, we can finally conclude all the little tasks and get to shoehorning the little engine back into the car. Thank you all so much for following so far. If there's anything specific you wanted more detail on, please do let me know and I'll do my best to help out. Especially while the car is still in pieces, it makes stuff a lot easier and can actually answer some questions if you have any. Uh, don't forget to drop a like, share this video around if it's been of any help to anyone. And yeah, thank you guys so much. I cannot wait to start on the next projects. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll see you next time where we'll be installing the new engine.